Well, we heard a lot of complaints when we were doing our justice, uh, criminal justice reform work with persons with mental illness, that there were all sorts of different forms out there for consent to get medical records. I had a committee at the Supreme Court on advisory committee on mental illness in the courts. Eight years ago, I merged that with the Attorney General and we formed the Attorney General's Committee on Mental Illness and Criminal Justice. That brought a lot of groups together to start talking and collaborating on finding solutions. I have to give a lot of credit to Betsy Johnson. She was a chair of the subcommittee. She was with the National Alliance on Mental Illness for really pushing this through the committee. And then another silo we found was that Medicaid was working on it also. And once we discovered that, we were able to merge forces and make it happen. Then we kind of tested it with three jails, Cuyahoga, Stark County, and Hamilton. And all of them reported that it facilitated, made much easier the getting of the medical records. They only had to get one signature, and then they could send it to all of the different uh, medical authorities, the treat treatment providers, the hospitals to get the records, which really helped them then deal with the uh, defendant that they had in their jail at the time. So already just that testing showed some great benefits. Within corrections, we have difficulties in ascertaining medical and mental health information from our inmates. We're presented with the problem because they have so many different providers is that the, there's no standardized authorization form until now. And not having that delayed treatment, it delayed uh, medications, and it's not very good for the patient. This new form allows us to get information from both medical and mental health providers and addiction services a lot quicker. We were one of the test pilots for this authorization form and it decreased our time about one to two days of getting the information from the provider, which is very important when you have a seriously mentally ill individual. The benefits of the standard authorization is to allow quicker access to us, the provider of medical or mental health services, so that we can get those medications that the individual requires on board. The uh, mental health system is very complicated for people who are family members and people with lived experience with mental illness. And when people are hospitalized, oftentimes they don't realize that unless they sign a certain release specified by a certain provider agency for the Health Information Portability and uh, Accountability Act, um, that they can't speak to their loved ones uh, or their loved ones cannot speak to the case managers and the medical staff there in a reciprocal fashion. Um, and that makes things very difficult in terms of continuity of care. We know that when people leave the hospital after a psychiatric crisis, uh, they're at much higher risk for suicide. And if their friends and family haven't been involved in the care, coordination, and discharge planning, it makes it very difficult to make sure that there's care wrapped around them when they leave. So having a one standardized form for both 42 CFR and for HIPAA uh, is a real breakthrough in terms of cutting through the red tape and the confusion uh, for families and people with mental illness. I think it goes a long way towards improving coordination of care by simplifying the system. This form provides uh, the simplicity that I think has, uh, ha has been needed for a long time. It's efficiency, but it also gets the different medical providers and the criminal justice system working together better. And the more they talk and the more they work together better, then they find better ways to collaborate and make a difference. Uh, Ohio is actually a national leader in collaboration. We are considered a gold standard in many, many states who want to know how, how we get along so well. But we really do talk together, communicate together, and there's ways to improve that, but I'm very proud of the progress Ohio has made.